Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright, and I am the Resourceful CEO. And today I'm going to talk to you about multiple streams of income as it pertains to your business or as they pertain to your business. I've seen, I've had clients who have had multiple streams of income and has worked really, really well. And I am a big believer in multiple streams, meaning you have different, you offer different products or different services. You can partner with other entities to provide services or add on products or add on services to your existing product line or service line. Um, that's what I know when I worked for a tech company, we partnered with consulting firms and they upsold our um, software. But the main point about multiple streams of income is maximizing the services that your company can provide, but still being highly focused on your primary markets. So, but sometimes what I see is that companies start to offer all kinds of things and they're trying to be a jack of all trades. And when you are a jack of all trades, you're not good at anything, really. You're just mediocre. You're mediocre at things. So what I always tell people or companies is as you're starting out, you start with you start out with one product or one service or a couple of products and a couple of services focused on a specific market, and then you expand from there. You can either add products and services or you can you can increase the realm of of companies or the scope of companies that you actually serve. For instance, if you, let's see here, if you are a uh, construction firm and you focus on providing painting services, you can add painting related services. You can add specialty painting or you can add ceiling painting if you only do walls, you can add if you do interior, you can add exterior painting. You can focus on residential. You can focus on new home builds, or you can focus on commercial. And then if you focus on commercial, you can tailor that to schools, apartment buildings, office buildings, whatever. But if you say, I do it all, <laughs> it's just not going to work you're generally not going to be hired because if you're working commercial construction, you need to be able to read the blueprints and cost cost it out effectively. And you generally don't have to do all of that in residential painting. So you need to understand your market very well. Also, in some higher end offices, the needs will be different than in lower end apartments. Uh, higher end apartments versus versus brand new builds where you're just putting flat paint <laughs> you're just putting flat paint everywhere so i'm just illustrating how important it is for you to focus on a particular market segment or a particular product or service and then add from that i've seen companies where like, okay, we'll do drywall. Oh, we'll also do tile. We'll do this. If you're going to be a general contractor, be a general contractor, have a small staff and out, outsource or subcontract the rest. But don't call yourself a painting and a painting company and say you offer all these other services. It gets confusing and you're not going to be very good at it. You're not going to be as good as a drywall company that focuses on all types of drywall, perhaps even does some plastering. So again, the key here is to be very aware of what your market is and also what your competitive advantage is. So your competitive advantage should also drive what it is you're focusing on. If your competitor advantage is customer service in your painting company and you do all these and you, you find people to do all these different things, either as contract, subcontractors or employees, then maybe you should make the move to become a general contractor, get properly licensed, and then focus on 
differentiating yourself from other contractors and building relationships with subcontractors and uh, by focusing on high levels of customer service and quality delivery. So you become more of a sales and marketing kind of entity with a superb customer service and less of a, an actual the actual service provider because you're outsourcing so much of that. But anyways, I'm just, I do you get my point? The point here is to focus and expand, but keep your eye on your market. And then if a service, and then track the service or product. If it's not producing the margins that you want, either raise your pricing or cut it. This is Tiffany C. Wright. I am the resourceful CEO.